lesson, we'll review how to solve a two-step equation. Just like one-step equations, the name is pretty obvious. It's going to take two steps to get the answer. We have a couple of steps that you're going to follow through on. We're going to reverse the order of operations here. The first step is going to be to undo addition and subtraction. What that means is if there's addition in the problem, you're going to use subtraction to solve it, and vice versa. After you've done that, you've actually reduced the problem to a one-step equation, and you're going to use either multiplication or division. We have here to check your answer by plugging it back in. This is not something that you have to write down every time, but it's a good idea just to grab your calculator, substitute your answer back into the original equation, and make sure that it checks out. So let's get started. In our first example, you'll see that we have 15y plus 31. We have to undo addition first, so we're going to start by doing minus 31 on both sides. It's important to line up your work and show that you're subtracting 31 on both sides. On the left-hand side, the plus 31 and the minus 31 cancel. You bring down the 15y. And on the right-hand side, you have a negative 92. Next, we're going to divide both sides by 15. And some of you may not like this problem because 15 does not divide evenly into 92. That's fine. Leave it as a fraction. Don't mess with the decimal because if you plug it back in, sometimes the decimal equivalent won't check out exactly. Another thing to be careful of is make sure you bring down the negative. A lot of times students miss negatives. Next problem, x over 10 minus 6 equals 2. Remember what we did with the one-step equations. The first thing we need to do is actually rewrite the equation so that it looks proper. So literally write down x over 10 minus 6 equals 2. We're going to start by undoing subtraction, so we're going to add 6 to both sides. The 6's cancel, bring down the x over 10. 2 plus 6 gives us 8. Now this equation is a division equation. Remember the fraction bar just means division. So our next step is going to be to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. You can either use parentheses or you can use the multiplication dot, whichever you prefer. So the 10's cancel on the left hand side, we're left with x. On the right hand side, we have 80. Our next example looks a little different because the variable is on the right hand side. Not a big deal. We start off the same way. We want to look at what is being added or subtracted to the p. And because the 10 is a positive 10, we are technically adding 10. So to undo a positive 10, we need to use a negative 10. So to both sides, you're going to subtract 10. Negative 25 and negative 10 is negative 35. Now be careful, a lot of students miss the negative in front of the P. In fact, we probably should put a 1 in front of the P at the start of the problem. You can bring it down now though. So we have a negative 1 in front of the P, and this is a multiplication, so to undo multiplication we're going to divide. So show that you're going to divide both sides by a negative 1. The two negatives cancel, so we have 35 equals P. But this is a little bit backwards, so we're going to use something called the symmetric property, and we're just going to flip around the equation. So you'd actually write your answer as p equals 35. The last example has a lot of fractions. So again, I want you to start by rewriting the equation so that it looks like proper form. We're going to approach this problem in the same way, by undoing addition and subtraction first. So you'll see that we're subtracting one-fifth from the variable, so we have to start by adding one-fifth. The nice thing about this problem is, at least for the adding, we've got a common denominator. The negative one-fifth and positive one-fifth cancel, so we are just left with k over 3. And on the other side, we've got 5 over 5, which if you think about, is just 1. Next, we've got a division equation. It's k divided by 3, so we're going to solve that equation by multiplying. So on both sides, we're going to show that we're going to multiply by 3. The 3 and the 3 cancel on the left-hand side. We bring down the k, and 1 times 3 is 3. Again, it's a good idea to check your answers. All you have to do is take the 3, plug it back in for the k on your calculator, and make sure that both sides equal.